We begin this morning with a follow up on a Target 12 investigation, costly crime with more catalytic converter thefts in our area to tell you about. Police tell us that witnesses and surveillance video really were key in helping them find and arrest some of these suspects. Kate Walsh is live in studio. She has a look at where some of the recent thefts took place. Well, the most recent was this weekend in New Bedford. Just after midnight Saturday night, police say they got calls about someone looking under cars with a flashlight on Riverside Ave. Officers say they found three people in a car in a nearby parking lot. Also in the car was allegedly a saw with a built-in flashlight. Three men were arrested. One of them, Christian Alejandro, had an active warrant out for his arrest. New Bedford Police Chief Paul Oliveira said these thefts are hard to solve because thieves move quickly and at night. And take a look at this. Yesterday, Braintree police posting these mug shots of three men from Rhode Island who were arrested for the same crimes back on Halloween night. Braintree police say about $12,000 in damage to vehicles was done due to the theft. A sawzall was found near two of the men who were hiding from police. Six catalytic converters were also found. Two of the men are from Providence. One is from Cranston. Braintree police say these three men may also be connected to other similar thefts in both Massachusetts and in Rhode Island. This is really a growing issue in our region. Target 12 investigator Steph Machado recently dug deeper into the problem, and you can find her full investigation right now on our website at WPRI.com. Live in the studio, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.